everybody doing it's mocha mima welcome to my recap of married at first sight nashville um it is season 16 episode 23 that i'm recapping um the title of it is last call for music city recap this is my recap rather now y'all this is a season finale um, they have a two-part reunion coming up, and um, next week, uh, next week's episode will be um, some of their um, some of their brides and grooms from previous seasons. And there's going to be some explosive things going on, so check that out. And I will re be recapping that also. Ooh. so y'all. The episode this week starts out with Clint. He has Hank with him, and they're at um, Nashville. I guess Nashville is the cop capital of Tennessee, so they're there looking at some of the buildings and whatnot. And y'all, this is the first time I ever seen it. Where is it? Oh, let me see. I have a slide for y'all. Hank, let's see, let's put it up here. Hank actually gets a confessional. I, I could not believe it. Hank got a confessional. It was so cute and funny. You know they must be desperate for content. Anyway, next they go to, here we go. Next we go to Clint and Nicole. They are packing up to move. They are talking about um, what's going to go on with the holidays. They call up her dad. And he congratulates them on um, staying together and keeping up with their marriage. Um, he's talking about, you know, the holidays and what they're going to do for the holidays. Oh, no, let me go back to the other slide. I'm sorry. So um, after Clint, then they go to Kirsten and Jasmine. They go out and have ice cream. They're talking about a business idea that they have to um, have a party bus called the Dream Express. Dream Express, I should say. Then they talk about their marriages, how the guys are missing out, blah, blah, blah. You know the deal with that, <laughs> with the two of them. So then we go over to Dominique. Her and her mom are meeting for cocktails. Um, Dominique is telling her mother about how um, Gina and Mac have gone on a date, and her mother asks her how she feels about it, you know, blah, blah, blah. She also lets her mother know that she is going to call Gil from the Houston season because she is interested in him. I, I don't know where that came from, but okay, girl. All right, then next, Eris goes out on a date with Kendra, who was also supposed to be on this season. She just didn't get picked. Um, she asked him, you know, why it didn't work out, why they got divorced. He told her that there was no spark. They start. They start to talk about religious beliefs, um, and she is a pick me. I could already tell she's a pick me because she asked him a question, and um, it was really a, a, a open ended question for him. And then she goes on and she agrees about it. It was something to do with religion and church. I'm like, girl, he's like they set this up with you and him just so he can get some air time and you can get yourself a check. But um, they're going on the next date, but you know, Eris is just looking to smash. So, hey, go off, sis, get you some. So the next, um, Nicole, and Chris, Nicole and Chris are having a birthday party 
for their dog down near Charlie. It's Charlie's second birthday. So um, everyone was there except for Gina and Shaq, because we all know Shaq is back and forth between Nashville and Louisiana because his mom passed. So, um, you know, it's, it's just them getting together, chatting a little bit and everything. No big whoop at all with them. Next, uh, Gina meets with her mother and stepfather, and they talk about why Clint didn't want Gina. Look, listen, Clint was able and willing to be a husband to your daughter, but your daughter did not want a husband. Your daughter was not attracted to him, and no, there's nothing wrong about it. With it, about it. But Gina, don't act like it was Clint when it was you. So you can get out of my face with that. I'm glad she is not going to be on my um, TV screen anymore. Then they cut over to Mac, who in, who is walking through the cannabis farm or facility. That that's where he's going to be working. Up, he went back to Michigan, so he's going to be up there. You know, him coming down here acting like he wanted a house. You, we all know that was a bunch of bull. He didn't want no house here. And I think he may have been able to make it work had he stayed married. But, you know, he didn't. So he went back to where he's from, back to Michigan. And I'm good with that. So next, Jasmine and Eris go out with Shaq and they sit and talk. Um, they let him know they've been dating other people. You know, and you know, they're doing their thing. Um, Shaq, of course, is talking about Kirsten and you know how he wants to he wants to have a talk with her, this and that and other. Shaq can also get out of my face and take them other two with you because Jasmine, you're acting too much like you just over things, and we know that um, Eris was just an F boy anyway, so we know the deal. So that whole scene, like they're giving us like these nothing scenes to fill up the episodes when they could have just condensed a whole bunch of this stuff and gave us the two-hour show and we would have already been done by now but okay lifetime so um the next curse let's see oh clint goes to check out a dog he's looking at labradoodles that look kind of like hank so he's thinking about getting a dog they had two dogs there that was absolutely adorable so um Clint is probably going to get a dog that looks like Hank. So them doing that, uh, all, well, no, I'll get to it when, when, when I get to Gina. Next, Dom calls up Gil. I'm like, so Gil just, you know, plays the role. Gil, Gil ain't interested in you, girl. He's a grown man. He got his own issues and stuff to deal with. He ain't interested in no 25-year-old girl that got two who this ain't I don't you know what I I can't stand Don so Gil's not interested girl move on find someone your age that lives in Nashville not somebody all the way in Houston give me a break oh so um wait I got I have the wrong slide here wait y'all hold on one minute go through my go through my slide I have the wrong. No, I know. I have to put the slide in. Let me go back. So um, next, Kirsten is talking to her cousins, and she let lets them know that Shaq is no longer a member of their family, and they talk to her about moving on and about what her feelings are now, and she really wants some closure, but um. Girl, let that go. So Shaq and Kirsten meet up. Um, you know, Shaq is still on that same old BS. Um, I'm tired of him and his mess. Like Shaq, I was rooting for you in the beginning because, you know, she was really talking about the ball head and all this and that and other. But Kirsten had a turnaround. And she was willing to make it work, but you weren't. So um, just let like let it go. Like things are over and done with. She doesn't want to be your friend, and I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to be your friend either. Shaq, let it go. And he just showed how much of a butthole he really is 
He's a bitter baby. And he have the brass balls in his confessional to say, oh, she's not, she's not nurturing. Shaq, what I know about you now is from watching this, you are a gaslighter. You are a manipulator. This was probably your first real relationship. You probably only got it in with a woman one time before Kirsten. Like grow up and learn to what it is to be an adult and knock it off. So next, they all go axe throwing. Clint is kind of uh, flirting with Dom. Gina is feeling some type of way. You can see it on her face. But Gina, don't feel some type of way. You ain't want the man. So knock it off. And they do a little contest between the two of them. And they end up kissing. And that's kind of where the episode went off. Um, it, I mean, it was all, it was all. At this point, like I said, it's just a whole bunch of filler stuff. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of them. I want this to be over and done with. Um, I really need for this show to be off my TV. But I think the next, the the, the reunion is two parts. Um, the episode that's coming on next week, like I said earlier, it's going to be... Um, some past guests we see that toxic idiot Lindsay up there and Steve is sitting with someone I guess one of the ladies from another season and of course Lindsay has to open up her mouth and everything else so we get to see her act like a jackass and I, hopefully that will be the last time I see her on my TV screen because I was sick of her from then and I'm sick of Lindsay now so y'all I'm over mass for this season. I can't wait for us to get to Denver. Um, I'm trying to think if I, if, I think I've been through Denver um, in the airplane, but I'm just, I'm just, um, you see, I'm just, I'm over this whole season. I'm tired of it. I am done. I want this to be over with. And, um, that's it, you guys. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Click on the bell button for the upload. You guys, I appreciate you being here listening to my quick recap. Um, part of me didn't even want to do a recap because this show just gets on my nerves at, at this point. And it's always like that when it gets late in the season. It really will work your nerves. And, and it has, especially with this season, with um with four four couples that broke up one couple standing and 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 know what an aside for that one couple that standing for Nicole Chris don't really want to be with Nicole um it's almost like he's a living hostage because she's getting on his nerve his nerves you could tell by just the look on his face when they had the party for the dog Nicole said in her confessionals how they're the only couple and like they want to show everybody girls shut up shut up because i understand now why you were single chris is getting tired of you i'm already tired of you and you thinking that it's all that chris might have just stayed because i heard allegedly they get extra money if they stay or whatever so that may be why you guys are still together so what you can do you can shut the hell up nicole stop comparing yourself to everyone stop acting like you're better than because you are not you just met someone who is willing to deal with your toxicity for a coin so stop it so y'all i'm about to get out. say it with me kids if protecting my peace makes me the villain then bitch my name is thanos Say it with me, kids. If protecting my peace makes me the villain, then bitch, my name is Thanos. And thank you guys once again for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, click on the bell button for the uploads. Um, I have a series 
going on. I did uh, some deep dives into Peter Thomas, Cynthia Bailey's ex-husband from Roa, so you can check that out. Um, I also have some uh, tribute videos to Miss Jackie O uh, and Don West. I have a bunch of shorts out there. Check out some shorts. I give some little inspirational messages that I found with those shorts. And y'all, I appreciate you being here. Have a good rest of your day, night, or evening. Whenever you watch this, remember, I appreciate you so much for being here. And get me now. I'm at 12, over 12,500 views. So I'm getting up there. And like, like I said before, this is not a sprint. It's a marathon. So I'm just getting used to being in these YouTube streets and, and whatnot. So I'm just taking my time and I'll get there when I get there. So love you guys. Thanks again. Work, work, work. I believe that all of your dreams are the reason. You took my heart, all my keys, and my passion. You took my heart, all my seed, but that career. You mistake my love, I brought for you my foundation. All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never had, something that you never seen, something that you never been. Mm-hmm. But I wake up and I ain't nothing wrong. Just get ready for work, 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 work. You see me do me